Hi, I'm Scott. Today, I'm going to show you how I built this deck cooler out of scraps on Dad It Yourself. All right, so here's the project for today. I got some uh, scrap cedar here from a pergola and deck project I just finished. Uh, here's a picture of it right there. Came out super nice. Customer is very, very happy. But I figured I'd build something from these scraps, so I picked up this metal uh, watering bucket kind of thing from the local feed store and i'm going to make him a beer cooler out of this and we're going to start by taking these four by fours and cutting them to 24 inches and that'll kind of justify what the height's going to be not too tall that you can't lean down to it but not too tall that when you're sitting in a chair next to it you can't reach up into it either so let's get started with that and then we'll start setting up the dimensions so that will sit down inside it So I kind of laid this down so I could get a rough idea of what my dimensions need to be. I'm using these cutoffs to represent the leg placement. But roughly what I need, my inside dimension needs to be 32 long by about 16 inches wide. So by measuring that off with the three and a half inches of here, I get my final dimensions. And I'm going to go ahead and build two rails around the outside top and about, I don't know, 12 to 14 inches down on the bottom of the leg from the top for the shelf for the bottom that's gonna hold this in the compartment. Hey, all right, so I got all those side pieces cut and beveled the ends of those to 45 degrees. Uh, built this stick right here so I can get the right spacing in between here, which is 16 inches. Right there, that gives me enough flexibility once I put all the deck boards down. The top of the bucket won't go out the top and there'll still be room for the lid to close. Got Type on 3 in my glue bot. That is outdoor uh, water, water weather resistant. And I'm going to put it together with two inch brad nails also to hold it together to square it up. It's just a matter of putting the top piece on, spacing it off, put the bottom piece on. I'm going to build two sides like this and then put the pickets in. And then we'll do the ends, put those together and kind of just slowly start assembling it. So I have to make multiple cuts at 18 and a half inches. I set up this little stop block on my miter saw. It's going to be really nice when I have a miter saw station where I can just set a stop block, but this will work really nice. I know right off the bat I'm going to need 16 of them, and I'm probably going to need at least 3 or 4 for the sides, so I'm going to make 22 right off the bat. So here's the pickets all mocked up. I built a little half inch spacer right there, so I get a nice space in between there, and that leaves me about an eighth inch here on this end and an eighth inch on that end, so eight pickets. Uh, pickets have to be even with the bottom, and then they have to be about an inch down from the top, so a place for the lid to be able to close on this side. And then I will put another rail across the bottom here, 
and then another rail across the top there. Let's get these cut to length. So I got all the pickets and the rails installed. Looks really good. These are the long sides. Here's the short side rail. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect those on like that. Hook these two pieces together. Put the rails and the uh, pickets on the ends. Alrighty, I've got my bottom slats pre-cut right there. Let's go ahead and put these in now. fits in there nicely a lot of extra room uh, you can reach in there you could probably even put a, a bigger cooler in there if you wanted okay so day later ran out of cedar had to go get enough for this piece and this piece and these are just the cross braces to hold the door together let's go ahead and get that installed I picked up these black strap hinges at Home Depot and they're gonna go right here on the back just like this one here one on the other end let's put those in This was a relatively easy project, virtually no cost. I used scraps from a pergola project that we did. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. 
Thanks for watching. Data yourself.